Hello everyone, this is Cynthia on Embracing His Word. Well, I have, this is video number three. I have been discussing with you um, overcoming racism or dealing with racism. You know, uh, we have to deal with this in the right way. You know, when you encounter racism, um, oftentimes your flesh wants to rise up and you want to just react. But God's way is not to just react in a manner that, that is fleshly, but God wants us to respond in a, uh, an appropriate manner. You know, Romans chapter 12, verse 19. So we're going to talk about some keys on how to overcome racism. I want to read this verse to you. It says, Romans chapter 12, verse 19 says, Beloved, never avenge yourselves. Leave the way open for God's wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, be quiet, says the Lord. Did you see the word of the Lord says, vengeance belongs to him. So God, he knows how to bring forth the justice. He knows how to keep store, keep score. And he sees the bigger picture of everything from the very beginning to the end. He will make things right for you. He will make things right for me. So that individual will either pay for his sins in this lifetime or in eternity because God, he is a just God. And we need to remember, whatever a person sows, they will also reap. So let's not try to react in our flesh when we encounter uh, the temptation of uh, dealing with racism, but let's be mindful and settle it in our heart. I will respond in love. I will respond in kindness. And you know, even in the midst of a tragedy, I believe that God wants us to respond just as Jesus responded when they beat him on the way to the cross. When they abused him and put the crowns in his head, Jesus didn't cuss anybody out. Jesus didn't retaliate, but Jesus knew his calling. He knew his purpose on this earth. And so we want to imitate exactly what Jesus did. We need to remember that we belong to the Lord God Almighty. We need to remember that God has placed his love in our hearts. So we need to allow the love of God to just overflow. And we, our prayer should be, Lord, teach me, help me to walk in the God kind of love. Lord, I haven't made it there yet, but I'm asking you to help me to walk in the spirit of love. And so when we do this and we are submitting ourselves to the Lord God Almighty, God will empower us through the power of the Holy Spirit that dwells within us to respond in love. So let's talk about keys to overcoming racism, bigotry, and prejudice. And so one of the most important things is that first of all we need our first um, duty is to obey God. God said that we are to love Him with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Everything that is within us, we are to love Him. And so when we are able to to love God, in turn, we'll be able to love our neighbor. So if you don't have the love of God in your heart, you won't be able to demonstrate that genuineness of love and kindness and gentleness. So if you lack that love, a good prayer to start with is, Lord, fill me up with your love, with your presence, with your gentleness, and with your kindness. Teach me, Lord, how to respond. So number one, you want to resolve in your heart to respond in love and not react to racism. The scripture in James 1, 19 says, My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Number two, deal with the anger and don't stop it. No, yes, when we encounter temptations and, or we become angry, uh, the thing that you should not do is stop that anger down. But we want to surrender and submit that to the Lord God Almighty. Lord, I am 
hurt, I am angry, help me to get past this. And so we have to deal with our anger by submitting to submitting that anger to God and voicing that we forgive that individual and praying for that individual to seal the deal. Number three, never pay, never pay back evil to anyone. Look at Romans chapter 12, 19. I just read that a few minutes ago. Never pay back evil to anyone. So when we pay back evil in turn, we're saying we're no better than that person. We're not reflecting Jesus Christ when we pay back evil for evil. So be mindful of your attitude. Okay, number four, demonstrate love and kindness in the midst of intentional harm. Someone called you out of your name, don't retaliate. But demonstrate love and kindness. A, Jesus never said a mumbling word when he was mistreated. B, he resolved in his heart to honor God and never cater to his flesh or to his self. C, he saw and recognized the bigger picture God had for him. That he wants to die on the cross so that you and I could have eternal life. And he wanted to extend to us the many blessings of salvation. So, so. Number five, resolve in your heart to intentionally walk in love, regardless of people's rejection of you. You know, it's not always going to be someone of a different race that rejects you. People within your own family can reject you. So we need to learn how to properly handle rejection. Do we have to respond in a negative manner? No. Do we need to allow that rejection to cause us to react in our flesh? No. But we surrender our hearts to the Lord Jesus Christ. We, we need to be mindful of who we are. I belong to the Lord Jesus Christ. I am loved. I am accepted and the beloved. And so if we know who we are, we will not respond in a manner that is inappropriate. Number uh, six, be willing and lovingly, lovingly associate with people that is not of your same race and culture. You know, sometimes, you know, uh, people of different races have a tendency to just you know, gravitate to people of their own race, but learn how to associate and be friendly to people of other other races. And that's how we overcome um, these things that's in our heart that cause us to be prejudiced. Number seven, ask Holy Spirit to reveal any biases, prejudice in your heart against other races. So in your quiet time, uh, your prayer time and, and even if you're not in your quiet time just ask Holy Spirit Lord is there is there any area of racism or biases in my heart against other races let the Holy Spirit reveal that to you and if there is anything in your heart you have the opportunity to get it right with the Lord through repentance and making a change ask yourself what stereotypes do I have in my heart of other races? Are there any preconceived uh, ideas or notions of people of different races? Number nine, be willing to take the risk of not being accepted by a person of another race and demonstrate your love even in the midst of rejection. You know, I shared on a previous video some time ago about how when I uh, got started into prayer, you know, I was in this church, my husband and I, we, we love this church and the church was practically probably 95% uh, Caucasian. And our pastor, he started a prayer team, whereas we didn't have a, a time at the altar. So my pastor established a prayer team and the Lord began to place on my heart about uh, being a part of the prayer team. And you know, I had never really prayed for people in the uh, public before, but that was an opportunity for me to grow and to allow God to just uh, take 
me to a higher level in him and go past my own pre preconceived preconceived ideas about how people may react toward me because of my own color. And so I passed through all of that. And the Lord, he just began to work, I allowed the Lord to work in my heart. I, when we started going up to the altar to pray and intercede uh, with people, of course, there would be times that people would not want to come to me because of my skin color. So they preferred someone that was of their own skin color. You know, I had to learn how to take rejection in the proper manner. Allow God to still yet fill me with his love. You know, remember who I am in Christ Jesus and yet continue to be a blessing to other people, to those that desired to be prayed over those that desire to come closer to the Lord and God you know he grew me so exponentially as I surrendered to him and obeyed him and um, just reach out to all people you know not looking at what color they were but reaching out with a heart of love God taught me tremendous lessons in that and so I'm thankful that God knows how to move in our hearts when we really submit and surrender, moving out the fear of rejection, letting all of that go, and believing that we are truly loved, knowing that our identity is truly rooted in Christ Jesus. So I want you to begin to see that your identity is truly in Christ Jesus, not in your color, your identity is in Christ Jesus because he first loved you and that you were so worthy that he sent his son to die for you and I. And so always keep your eyes on who you are in Christ Jesus, even in the midst of being rejected, regardless of, of whomever it may be. It may come from someone within your own family or someone of another race. Know who you are. You are very much loved and accepted and the beloved. And so I have enjoyed um, discussing on these videos about overcoming racism. I want you to be blessed. Make sure you subscribe, click the bell, and share, and make sure you like the video. And I look forward to discussing things with you on the next video. Be blessed. Thank you.